Hey everyone, I'm Mrs. Lambert and I've got a new family math game for you today called Anything But Ten. It's a simple addition game, but you throw in some chance and some probability um, and it turns out to be super fun. So let's get started. Um, so some things that you're going to need is you're going to need a simple hundreds chart. Um, just do a search on it online and print one off um, or you can make one yourself. Another thing you're going to need is um, two spinners. Um, you can make these yourself or do a search online. Um, I bet you could find something. Um, the way I made mine is I just traced two circles and then um, I divided each into six parts. Um, I just freehanded the lines, but if, um, if you have a compass and a protractor and want to get into angles and stuff with your kids, great. Um, so each Spinner, the first one is going to have the numbers 0 through 5 on it, and the second spinner is going to have the numbers 5 through 10. So it's important that there are um, fives in both of them. Okay, so how do you make it spin? This was always my kid's favorite part in class. So you're going to need a paper clip and a pen or a pencil. So the way this works is you're going to take the end of your paper clip and put it in the center of the spinner and then you're going to place um, the pen or the pencil kind of inside the paper clip to catch it on there. And then spin. Pretty easy, right? Um, you're also going to need uh, some playing pieces. So you're gonna need one for each player. Um, there's no one playing with me today, so I'm just gonna play for both the green player and the blue player. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so your hundreds chart is going to be your game board. You are going to um, start on what would be zero. You could add a zero onto your um, hundreds chart to keep track of that because you are going to be coming back there a lot actually. So the goal of the game is to make it all the way to 100, but it's not as easy as it sounds. You're going to be adding up the numbers that you get on, all, on both of the spinners together to move along. However, if ever your equation equals 10, you have to go back to zero. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so both my playing pieces are gonna start on zero. And we're gonna have the blue one go first. So I'm gonna put it on my first spinner and spin. So I have a one. So one plus what equals 10? What number do I not wanna land on? So I don't want to be on a 9, because 1 plus 9 equals 10, right? I'll spin this one, and it's a 5. So 1 plus 5 equals 6. Again, let your child um, do the addition however they want to. If uh, you have younger kids and they need counters, do provide those for them. Okay, so um, I get to move on to the number 6. Now here's an important part. I get to now choose if I want another turn and I want to keep going, or if I want to play it safe and let the next person go. Remember, every time I spin and I get 10, I have to go all the way back to zero. So I'm on six, that's not very far. I think I'm gonna risk it, so I'm gonna play again. So I'm gonna spin the first spinner, a three, hmm, okay. five. So three plus five equals eight. Now I get to decide, again this is depending on the level of your child, do I just count out eight squares or do I do more addition? So I'm currently on spot number six, so six plus eight more equals 14. So I get to jump to the number 14. Okay, I think I'm going to play it safe now and I'm going to let the green player go. Okay, so the green player would spin Call that a two and an eight. Oh no, two plus eight equals 10. I know I'm, I haven't moved off of zero yet, but that also means I can't move off of zero. As soon as you get an equation that equals 10, that is automatically the end of your turn. So now gameplay would go back to the blue player. Okay. So you guys are gonna continue playing this game. 
until somebody makes it all the way to 100. As you're playing this game, um, for younger kids, just focus on the addition, focus on how you're moving through the hundreds chart. For older students, um, you can focus on the probability. What's the probability that you are gonna get a 10? What are the different combinations of numbers that you can get um, to equal 10 on every spin? Is it a low chance? Is it a high chance? How does that affect your strategy? How many turns do you wanna have before passing it off to the next player? Um, are, is your child using any type of math reasoning to do that? Or are they just waiting until the butterflies in their stomach get too intense? Talk about it, have a conversation. But the most important thing is to have fun, right? These math games aren't just about the math, they are about the family bonding. Um, so sometimes it's okay to just play the game for what it is, a game. Okay. I hope you enjoy this one and I will see you next time.